Hello everyone, welcome back to another Hot Toys slash 1-6 scale review slash just my thoughts on it. And this figure right here, the Chris Redfield 1-6 scale Master Team Wolf Team Leader. There's a lot of words, but it's Resident Evil 8 Chris Redfield. And I got this figure a week and a half ago and I've been meaning to record this and I've just been kind of, you know, backed up with a lot of videos, but I'm finally here reviewing it, giving my thoughts on it and just, you know, telling you what I think about it and if it's worth buying. I got this from Giantoy, G-I-A-N-T-O-Y. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, but I just have to say that this is the best place if you want to get one six scale bootleg slash non-officially licensed figures, in my personal opinion, because they have free shipping, which is just incredible versus the $50, $60 you're paying from some other places. And just overall, the, sh the, sh the, yeah, the shipping, the speed, the rewards little program they have, and the price, overall, I have to say, Gian Toy is probably the best place for you to buy one six scale figures that are not officially licensed. And this is the figure that I got from Gian Toy. I pre-ordered this in November 2021 and I just got it like a week and a half ago. So yeah, I got delayed a bit and they were fully transparent about that. I emailed them and they did respond. However, I have had a little bit of a customer service issue with Gantoy and I will tell you about that a little bit later. Uh, but besides that, I'd say their service is very well. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, Chris Redfield right here from the Resident Evil. They even have like the cover here. So yeah, um, Chris Redfield. Um, I personally am a huge fan of Resident Evil Village. I have a Let's Play of it. You can check out on the channel. It, it was a great game. I cried at the end. <laughs> it was a good game. And, uh, yeah, this is just recreating, you know, uh, well, the pose here kind of from the, I like the opening scene in the game. Uh, yeah. I want to make sure I have the microphone, you know, open so you guys can hear me better. Because I'm still recording it on, you know, my phone camera. So, uh, yeah. Getting a quick look at the figure from up here. And you got Rose right there. And going down. Um, I have it on a stand right now. Because I will say he doesn't stand the best, you know, on his own. With, like, you know, because his boots have kind of, like, this weird texture on him. Uh, so, yeah. Let's, you know, get a better look. And by the way, too, I kind of like this display versus just me filming on this table, which I think I have one review of me doing that, which I apologize. I don't know when I'm uploading these in order. But uh, so, yeah, I kind of like this. Just, you know, me reviewing it in the shelf because the lighting up there makes it really nice. By the way, this box is just, you know, it's 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 pretty. By the way, I just have to say how they literally like put the name and stuff on the box and everything. I mean, you're already buying it. They don't have it. Like, I wasn't expecting the name and everything, like, on the box versus how it showed on the website. Because they name them all these things, like, Wolf Team Leader or whatever. Uh, which, by the way, remember when Chris Redfield was, like, you know, rumored to be a vampire. Not vampire, werewolf in that game. That was really funny. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Chris Redfield uh, getting a look at him. Uh, so, let's, you know, just let me, let me grab let me grab it and I'll show you. So, uh, first off here, we have the baby, Rose. Uh, let me get, like, a closer. You can get, like, a closer look at Rose it's a decent you know it, it's you know it's a, it's a you know still baby and i have to say it's pretty well done like the the, the detail on it and you know the it looks pretty what you call matching the game i think this was the outfit rose wore i think so uh, yeah i have chris holding her right there you know her guardian angel slash at the beginning we thought villain uh the gun right here that he comes with i just want to note the accessories on this figure are very bare we're gonna get to that but uh, his gun, she has a very well grip on right here. Uh, this gun right here, it looks semi-accurate to the game. I can't really like remember off the top of my head. I didn't really play that much Mercenaries. I probably will. And then also the stock on it, which is a little, I will say a little, a little wobbly and stuff. I, I recommend being careful with that. Uh, but you know, having it like that, it's, it's a good gun. It's a very, it's a very well done gun. I will say for, you know, this bootleg, it's pretty nice. Uh, now, I would show you the other accessories, but there are none. There's two extra hands of just, you know, open and close stuff. I, I don't feel like grabbing them, but you know what I mean. Uh, so, yeah, um, he does not come with that many accessories, and he is a little bare bones, but to be honest, it's fine because this figure was not that expensive. He was only $150, which you'll probably go, oh my gosh, but if you're used to 1-6 scale collecting, it's it's actually pretty cheap. Uh, showing it with Ahsoka, which I do not know if I've uploaded this review or not. She was almost $300 and she comes with a lot of accessories. So yeah, the dust is getting insane. But yeah, that's just the comparison. Like 
some figures come with more accessories but usually they cost more and also you know, you know the detail and stuff but getting in speaking of the detail let's get this off the tripod and let's just get a good look at the face so this was what i was talking about my little bit of a customer service issue with Gantoy. They didn't manufacture this, but you can see on Chris's face. Wait, let's get it in there. Good look. This like little paint blip, it kind of, you can kind of see it there. I'll probably zoom in so you can see it, but it's a little bit of a it chip slash little dribble. I have not gotten any response back from them. It has been, you know, a week and a half, two weeks. Um, that is my only thing about Gantoy I will say is that, you know, the response time was a little odd because usually it's pretty quick, but I will be transparent and say I've had some, you know, issues of them responding about that. I want to maybe get an extra head sculpt because it's, it's not that serious. And maybe it's just like, you know, maybe Chris had a pimple and I just don't remember, but I don't think so. Or like a birthmark. But, uh, besides that, the head sculpt is pretty damn well done. I like it a lot. Um, the coat is um kind of like a wool kind of like fabric and underneath you can see that and you know underneath you can see his sexy pecs and stuff <laughs> what <laughs> but uh yeah this thing does pick up some like some limbs and dust and stuff uh so uh yeah uh the gun and everything the hands they're pretty well he has like a really cool grip on this like he holds his gun really well uh, i will say he doesn't like you know it's a little awkward holding rose in a way i think i have it pretty well where he's kind of holding her uh, down here, let me talk about his boots. Let me show you what I meant by like the textured. It's just a nice little detail. Uh, there you go. So uh, yeah, uh, not that much to say on this figure besides what you see. Again, he does not come with a lot of accessories, which is honestly okay. Where the price point and overall the quality is very nice. And I mean, I couldn't really see what else he'd come with. Maybe besides like a walkie talkie and some maybe like semi-military, you know, commando kind of stuff. But like besides that, I think what you're getting with this figure is pretty damn well, including a sort of second mini little figure with this, with the baby, with Rose. Uh, so uh, yeah, really cool. I have to say overall, I'm a huge fan of this figure. I'll have a link for it down below. I'm really excited to build the whole collection. I'm getting Ethan, I have him on pre-order, and also Rose, grown Rose. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited for that. I think there's a Lady Dimitrescu, and I'm not fully sure, you know, um, but to make that one because I've seen the hat and the head and the body, I mean, in the clothes, but not the body because she is pretty damn tall. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I'm, soon enough, you'll see a Resident Evil display. I'm slowly building it up. I have a Jill Valentine figure up above and I kind of, you know, want to put those together. For, but for right now, I have him in this like little bit of an arcade. I will show you this right here. It's pretty cool. It actually turns on. I just want to show this because I'm probably not gonna do a video on it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty damn cute, and you can actually play Qbert. It's it's cool. I don't think it's turning on, but uh, yeah, might do a video on that sometime. Oh, yep, here it is. Oh, 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 it's turning on. It's right. You can click off right now. I just want to show this because this thing is freaking hilarious. So you see right there. Um, I actually have another figure playing this, but you know, let's just let's let's take a quick look at this because this is just freaking hilarious. Here we go some dust i apologize people my house gets really damn dusty i might honestly have to talk about my tips and tricks for dusting okay so oh, oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot uh, i never played cuber before <laughs> but uh yeah that's cuber and it's pretty damn funny so uh yeah anyways that was the one six scale uh wolf team leader mtt whatever i'll have a link of it down below i definitely recommend this figure if you are a fan of resident evil it's pretty it's pretty bang for your buck i will say the accessories are a little lacking but to be honest it's fine box is pretty damn nice i will say uh so yeah anyways i'll see you all later hope you have a great day or night wherever you are i apologize on the boring but let me know if you want to see this display more of you know like this setup of just me filming it in the shelf because i mean i'm gonna have to have some stuff i gotta put away but uh put back but besides that it's i think pretty damn nice so uh yeah anyways i'll see you all later hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and remember you only live once see you guys later wolf team leader out I don't know. <laughs>